Hello everyone. So I wanted to do a video on a DIY of me rehabbing my French doors. As you can see, these French doors are in really bad shape, so I'm having the painter's tape that was left on by the previous owner taken off. Next, I'm scraping off any loose paint. Then I'm going in with a sander, and I'm doing this with three different types of grades of sandpaper. I start with an 80 grade then I go to 150 and then I go to a 225. Next, I'm just dusting the doors down and I've already put new painter's tape to prep for painting. I'm going in with Kilt's primer and priming the inside of the door. I've already primed the outside of the door with a gray primer. Whenever I'm painting with black, you'll see me use a gray primer. And what this is, is just me using some kilt white primer and I put a little bit of black paint in it. Next, I'm going in with Sherman Williams Tricorn Black. This is an exterior paint and I am painting the outsides of the door semi-gloss. It probably would have been easier to do the doors with a foam roller, but I started with a brush because it had a lot of detail and I just continued with the brush, but you live and you learn. Now I'm going in with Sherman Williams Snowbound White in semi-gloss and I'm doing the interior part of the doors. And I'm gonna do two coats. So here you can see Art is making new hinges and the reason is because I want the doors to open the opposite direction. I don't want them to open inside the room because I feel like it takes a lot of the square footage. So he's just making marks to try and make new divots for the new hinges. So I just covered up where the old hinges were with some mud and some primer. I'm gonna paint the whole door frame and I also filled in this gap with some filler. So these French doors were fairly old and I didn't wanna get rid of them cause French doors are actually really expensive. So the doors are pretty crooked if you close them and there's a large gap in between. So I just put this filler in between both of the doors. I attached it to one. That way when I close the doors, there's no outside elements getting in. And it was just installed by Brad Nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime it and paint it and it's just gonna look like new. So before doing any paint, we always prime. So as you can see, I am priming the door frame right now. And then I'm gonna go in with my Snowbound White and paint over the primer. So they are almost done and they look amazing. This is what it looks like. I finished taking all the tape off of the windows so I'm going to clean them on Windex and then do touch up as needed so right now art is installing the thresh he's already measured already cut it and now he is screwing it in and then after he screws this in he's gonna put the underdoor thresh on All right, so we are installing the under door thresh right now. So he's gonna screw this in to the door. Uh -huh. 
After making sure the thresh is installed, we're going to do some silicone and make sure everything is sealed, waterproof. We're gonna do this inside, outside, and in all of the crevices. So my French doors are completely finished. I did the touch-up paint by the deadbolt up there. We put another one at the bottom. But I think they look so much better. And I'll give you a view of the outside as well. 